Hey everyone, Doug from Convology here. This is a follow-up video to the last tutorial that I published about creating knockout text. And I wanted to show how you can do two other kind of knockout style designs, one with gradients and one with patterns. The previous one focused only on images. Um, and I thought it'd be great to follow up with a few more options for you. Uh, so right here, you're looking at a couple of content boxes that I've stylized and I've used knockout text on all three. This knockout text here is a gradient. It goes from like a purple to a light color at the top and I matched it to the button. This text here is also knockout, but I've placed a pattern behind it and some black text, which creates an interesting uh, visual aesthetic here. And I did the same thing on the button. And then this last one, I uh, just brought back the uh, image effect for you and I created a border on the box and on the button. I'm using an image background on the button to accomplish the same effect. So in a tutorial I'm doing probably tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how to create some of these great background uh, designs and I'll make the templates available for download as well. So check out that video if you're interested. Um, but for this one, let's take a look at real quick how to do the knockout text using patterns and gradients. So just like in the previous tutorial, which I'll, I'll link somewhere in the corner of, of this video, um, what you need to do is select your text. We'll work with this text at the top here. Is select your text and then on the background style, be sure to add a image or a gradient. Um, let's, let's look at the gradient first. So what I did was I added a gradient uh, background and let me take one step back first and delete this so you can see what I did. All right, so under background style, let's add a gradient. So I did a blue to this like salmon orange reddish color. Let's go ahead and change these colors up uh, real quick to kind of show you what you can do. Let's choose like this lime green color. And then for the other color of our gradient, let's go with something like a, oh, that, that blue is fine. Bluish lavender color. And let's adjust our gradient until we have it where we like it. That looks nice. So we've added our, our gradient and we have our text on top. The color of the text doesn't matter. I, I choose black by default. Your theme will, will dictate what that is by default as well. Now to create that knockout effect, just like in the previous tutorial, we come here after selecting our text, um, we come to HTML attributes. It's the last option on my list here. Click HTML attributes and we need to add a class. Same class as last time, I still call mine knockout text. And once I've filled that out and left the field, you'll see now that my text has inherited the gradient background design. Now that's accomplished by using this little piece of CSS. We click on the gear on the right hand side of the screen for settings. We go to advanced settings, custom CSS. And here we go, we called it knockout text. And we just needed these two lines right here. We need the WebKit background clip text and the text fill color transparent. So once you've added those two, and I'll make that available for copying, uh, probably on convology.com. Uh, once you've copied that in and pasted that in, you're good to go. Now, instead of knockout text, you could have called that HTML class. You could have called it background image. You could have called it anything you want as long as, long as it's not being used by another class on your website. Now let's take a look at how to do the pattern. The pattern design is identical. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the HTML class here because we're just gonna make some design changes. So I'll continue to work with my text here at the top because it's nice and big for you to see. Let's add a pattern to this. So to add a pattern, we wanna go back to our background style and it's actually the last option here. They give us these four. We have solid color, image, gradient, and pattern. If you click on pattern, you'll see that we have five options. We have um, the first one is, and that's kind of hard to see. Let's make it some obnoxious color so it's really bright. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Let's go to, um, I don't know, maybe something like a yellow. Kind of hard to see. We'll do black. Black's easy. There we go. Um, let's darken it up a little. There we go. So the first one is a diagonal line from the upper left to the bottom right. The next one is kind of the opposite, bottom left to the top right. The next one are up and down. Then we have left to right. And then we have this weird dotted pattern. Kind of hard to see on these. What I might do is actually just makes this text a little bigger. There we go. You can see it doesn't make it any easier to see some of these patterns. So let's click on the text again, go to background style, pattern, up and down, diagonal, the other diagonal, left and right. So it's kind of a neat effect. You can apply a pattern and if you choose colors where the gradient or uh, here, let's make it a solid color. There we go. It's a lot easier to see. So depending on the colors that you choose, the pattern is going to be more visible or not. 
And I think that looks pretty good, right? You can create some really neat, um, gosh, if you do the patterns, it looks a little more retro than anything else, um, but you can create neat designs, something that maybe matches your brand, something that matches the style that you're going for on your page. Um, and again, the gradient, it also gives you the opportunity to really kind of incorporate some of those modern design trends where a lot of people use gradients and, and blob backgrounds and things like that. Um, but again, as you can see here, there's some three options of something you might do. And I just wanted to share that little quick tip on how to add gradients and patterns onto your text using one or two tiny little lines of CSS. So if you have any questions about how to do this or any other kind of little tips like this, let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. All right, we'll see you in the next video.